This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, March 5, 2012. This forecast will identify the areas of highest potential fallout concern based on various online resources and data. In Canada, moderate precipitation is occurring across most of the southern provinces. The jet stream is coinciding with the cities of Vancouver, Abbotsford, Kelowna, Calgary, Red Deer, Edmonton, Windsor, London, Toronto, and Halifax. As the week progresses, the jet stream forecast from CRWS shows it gravitating northward, placing Canada at higher risk for fallout than the states on late Tuesday and Wednesday. In the U.S., a small segment of the jet stream is moving from north to south through the Hawaiian Islands. Alaska is currently taking a direct hit. Moderate precipitation is occurring in the Pacific Northwest and to a lesser extent in the Midwest and East Coast. The jet stream is coinciding with the cities of Seattle, Everett, Portland, Salem, down to Grants Pass on the West Coast, and Spokane. The states with precipitation for the next 24 hours include Wisconsin, Michigan, Northeast Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. The southern states with rain forecasted do not have jet stream involvement. In Europe, high radiation levels in rain have been recorded the past two days, especially in the UK. Current forecasts and jet stream places the following countries at risk for the next 48 hours. Ireland, the UK, Norway, France, Belgium, Western Germany, and the Netherlands. The rain and snow that is forecasted elsewhere does not appear to have jet stream involvement. A new band of moisture will be moving onshore through Ireland, Monday evening through Tuesday. Nuke Report The Indian Point Nuclear Plant in New York reported an oil leak into the Hudson River on March the 3rd. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Westchester County Department of Health, and the U.S. Coast Guard National Response Center has been notified. Other Related News an X1.1 solar flare occurred in the early a.m. of March the 5th, and this event did have a large CME and smaller flares released since. According to analysts at the Goddard Space Center, the cloud could deliver a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field as early as March 6th. We may notice this in terms of northern lights and possible interference in radio communications. Please visit FukushimaFacts.com for more info on weather, sun, and sky links. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.